After the judgment of the watchers and the curse of their sons, Enoch was taken to a place where the angels who were there were like flaming fire. They transformed into the likeness of men whenever they wished. Some of them had fiery bows and arrows and quivers, some wielded fiery swords, and some had weapons of lightning. And Enoch was led on a tour throughout the heavens and all the secret places of the earth and throughout the underworld. They brought him to the mountain of a dark place, whose summit reached the heavens. And he beheld the lightning and thunder and the treasuries of the stars. They went to the waters of life and the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. They came upon a river of fire, which flowed into a great sea towards the west, and then they arrived at a place where no flesh walks. Enoch saw the frosty mountains of darkness, and a place from where all the waters of the deep flow. He saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth, and of the deep. He saw the storehouse of all the winds, how the Great One had adorned all his creation with the winds and the firm foundations of the earth. He saw the cornerstone of the earth, and the four winds which support the earth and the heavens, how the winds stretch out the height of heaven, and have their station between heaven and earth. These are called the four pillars of heaven. The winds of heaven keep the sun and the stars in their proper places, and the winds on earth carry the clouds. He saw where the earth ends, and where the paths of the angels and firmament begin. Then they went south, to a place which burns day and night, where there are seven mountains of magnificent stones, three towards the east, and three to the south, and one in the middle. The three mountains to the east were of colored stone, and of pearl, and of jacinth, and those to the south were of red stone. The middle one touched the heavens like the throne of the Lord, and was made of alabaster, and its summit was of sapphire. Enoch beheld the great abyss of the earth, which had pillars of heavenly fire, and he saw that the fiery pillars were falling. The height and depth of the abyss were immeasurable, it had no firmament above, and there was no earth beneath it. There was no water on it, and no birds. It was a horrible desert. And there, Enoch saw seven stars like great burning mountains. And having seen this, he asked, saying, For what sin are these stars bound? Why have they been cast in here? And one of the angels questioned him, saying, Why do you ask? Why are you so eager for the truth? This place is the end of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars and host of heaven, and the stars which roll over the fire are the stars which have transgressed against the commandments of the Lord, because they did not rise and come out at their proper time. The Lord was angry with them, and bound them for ten thousand years, until the time their guilt should be consummated. The angel who spoke was Uriel, and was one of the angels who led Enoch on the tour, alongside Raphael, Michael, and Raguel. And Uriel continued, saying, The angels who have laid with women, and defiled themselves, shall stand here. And their spirits which assume many different forms, are defiling mankind, and shall lead them into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand, until the day of the great judgment, in which they shall be judged and put to end. And lo, the women of the angels who went astray, shall become sirens. Enoch alone saw all these things that no man shall see as he had seen, and he beheld the holy angels who watch, for not all the watchers fell from grace. Uriel is set over the world of turmoil and terror, and Raphael is set over the spirits of men. Ragwell takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries, and Michael is set over the virtues of men, and over chaos. Serakel is set over spirits who sin, and Ramil is set over those who rise. Gabriel is set over paradise, and over its cherubim, and over the serpents. The angels took Enoch to another place even more horrible than the former. It was also an abyss of blazing fire, 
full of falling fiery rocks. He could not see the depth nor the width nor the source of the abyss. And so he said, I am afraid of this place, and I cannot look at it. And Uriel asked him, Why are you afraid? And Enoch answered, Because it is fearful, and a spectacle of pain. And Uriel said to him, This is also the prison of the angels, and here shall they be imprisoned forever. With that, they went far off to another place, where there was a great mountain. It had four hollow places, which were deep, wide, dark and smooth. And Raphael said to him, This is where the souls of the dead children of men shall gather. These pits shall receive them, until the day of their judgment, and until the great judgment comes upon them. As he said this, Enoch saw the spirit of a dead man, whose voice went out to heaven, and made petitions. And he asked, That voice which cries out to the heavens, Who is that spirit?